Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. I'm not able to be live at 8.30 this morning as usual, so I thought I'd go ahead and pre-record this. We have a lot of good news to share with you. Now, before I say good news, if you're a buyer, you're not really going to consider this good news. If you're a seller, you're going to think this is really good news. But I want to start with what I think is the best news I've seen in a while, and that is that Arizona revokes water permits for Saudi Arabian-owned alfalfa farm. You've heard me talk about that farm that's out in the West Valley, and I have some down in the south, not the West Valley, but way out by the Colorado River. And so they were sucking up all the water out there, so much of it that a lot of wells were running dry. Well, guess what? Attorney General Chris Mays announced that the drill permits for Saudi Arabia-owned alfalfa farm have been revoked. No moss, no more drilling. They were using water to grow alfalfa, and alfalfa needs a lot of water. And then that alfalfa was being shipped to Saudi Arabia. And there were a lot of discussions, and have been a lot of discussions, or what are we going to do about this? Finally, something's been done. They're certainly welcome to revoke the permits based on our current water shortage, and the water authorities have done just that. And it said here that just eight months ago, Arizona state agencies approved new deep well wa water wells in La Paz County for a Saudi-owned company to pump thousands of gallons of water per minute. The amount of water they were using was staggering. I can tell you that today, just before Earth Day, that's not happening. Those drill permits have been revoked. Now, we use about 30% of our water in Arizona comes from the Colorado River, of which about 70 to 75 percent of that is used for agriculture. So this is a good step, a good first step. The other things I'd like to see happen is see some technology improvements that instead of flood irrigation, we go with drip irrigation. That will save us a lot of water. And we're seeing plenty of water coming down from the snow melt right now. And unfortunately, not enough to fill our aquifers back up. But trust me, it's helping. So that's good. Now on the real estate front, it's hard to find <clears throat> any news that tells you the real estate market's in trouble. Not lately. In fact, the seven-day moving average um, actually shows more homes under contract than number of listings that came on. Now, that just means that if you're thinking of listing, if you're thinking, oh, I'm going to list sometime over the summer, that right now is pretty prime. Because we're running about 3,000 to 3,200 homes going into contract over a 7-day period. Now we're at 3,550, and we're not putting on that many new listings. So listings are getting down again. That's going to put more upward pricing pressure on the market. It's going to take a little time for that to happen. And by a little time, I might mean, you know, two, three months. But it's clearly happened. Take a look at these numbers that we see right now. And we look like we're moving from pessimism to hope you know like is the market going to get better oh i doubt it well now can't ignore it folks take a look at this here's where we're at with listings under contract look how much that has gone up since week 13 listings under contract like i just stated are up to 3500 a week now not 3000 so they have gone up now the other statistic we're seeing days on market are declining we had a high in february of 81 and now we're down to 72 we also look at the listing success rate this tells you just about everything if you're listing your home how many of you are exceeding on getting your home sold well currently about 78.6 now these bump up and down a little bit but the overall trend since the middle of january has gone way up these these big spikes here are holidays so they drop off like crazy and then we're going back up so that's what we're seeing there. And then finally, the Cromford Market Index. It's not going down, folks. It's up. It's sitting at about 142, and everything over 110 is considered a seller's market. Now, um, that's not great news if you're a buyer and you're waiting for prices to come down. Uh, hate to be the bearer of bad news, but prices are not coming down, and they're not going to come down in this kind of an environment where all of those metrics are going up. Prices, listing success rate, Days on the market going down, Cromford Index, everything's going in the opposite direction. So that means it looks like it's going to continue to be a strong 
spring market for Arizona and probably nationally. And we're all now by strong, I mean strong in comparison to where we've been. It's still brutally slow when it comes to the amount of volume that we had in 2021 and 2022. So there's not anywhere near the number of houses being sold. And I would like to see inventory climb way up, but it's not happening. And it's not going to happen unless rates get down to a more acceptable level for sellers so they feel comfortable saying, okay, I can sell, sell this 3% mortgage and go get a five and a half. I got enough equity. I'll go ahead and bite the bullet. Until that happens, no new listings coming on, folks. It's just going to be a rough, rough time out there when it kind of comes to trying to find the home that you want. And we're starting to see multiple, multiple offers on homes now, um, especially in the four to 500,000 range. They are getting multiple offers. So people that price low are going to get bid up. People pricing too high are getting ignored. It's that kind of a market. And you've heard me say before that buyers, the majority of buyers that are out there now, are not really tuned into the market like you are. So they are going to offer you a lower price. Sellers, it's looking like you don't have to take that now. And you're not going to have to, buyers, um, they're not going to come in and waive inspections. It's not that kind of a market. But you're not going to have to offer as a seller as many concessions as you did a mere 60, 90 days ago. So a lot of that you can really back off. You are offering seller concessions as enticement to get people to come look at your house. You know, come check this out. I'll kick in $10,000 to buy down your interest rate, and I'll pay $5,000 towards your closing costs. Well, looking less and less likely that you're going to have to continue doing that, and that's what happens in a seller's market. Now, buyers, you're not at the point where you have to waive inspections. You don't have to shorten your inspection time. You don't have to waive the appraisal. You can actually move forward in an orderly and normal fashion. And that's what I like about the market that we're in right now. It's a shame we don't have enough inventory because I have a lot of disappointed buyers just can't find the doggone house. But at least we not, aren't having the year of the buyer disappointment and the beatdown that we had in 2021 and early in 2022. So this market is showing some positive signs as we get into the summer. Do me a favor, smash that like button, especially since we get to give the boot to Alfalfa. Take care. Thanks for watching.